everyone. It's April here once again. This is going to be a totally awesome Dollar Tree haul because I went to the Dollar Tree today with my husband and we went to one that is kind it's close to our house but it's not the one that's like next to our house. It's like close close to our house. It's just kind of down the road a couple of minutes. Not that far. Um, it's probably like seven minutes away if that anyway I thought I would share with you guys what I got today because I just was like going through the whole store and this this Dollar Tree that I went to today is actually like bigger than the Dollar Tree that I have by my house so it's kind of cool to see um, that it's bigger they have a bigger selection of stuff but not only that their store was kept impeccably uh, clean and like really well put together and well kept so I was really happy to see that Okay, so let's get started. This haul today is from Dollar Tree, and as you guys can see, I got a lot of stuff. So, uh, the first thing is, is I've loved Golden Puffs. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Everything from the Dollar Tree is a dollar a piece, and I spent about like $18 today. So, first thing is Golden Puffs. I've loved this cereal since I was like a little kid, so I saw it and was like, yeah. Uh, Miss Freshly's peanut butter bars, uh, peanut butter wafers, and they're called Buddy Bars. I got these for my husband. He loves to take these with like his um, lunch at work and stuff like that. And we're also, shh, we eat them at home. We snack on them. We're bad about snacking. Um, I got two packages of these like dressing bandages just because you never know when you're going to get like a bump or a scrape or a bruise or whatever and I don't know it's just kind of good to have at the house just in case um I did also get two packages of eight count batteries double a batteries uh because as we all know batteries are like super expensive and I found with these dollar store ones they might not last as long as like the expensive brand batteries, but they do last a long time. They last a lot longer than you would think that they would. So definitely check them out because we go through batteries like crazy at our house for like the Xbox remotes. Like we go through batteries for like everything, you know what I mean? Our TV remote, our Xbox remote, the Xbox controller dealies, those things go through uh, batteries. My flip cam that I use, which I'm not using right now, I'm using my digital cam, but my flip cam, that thing uses batteries. So everything uses batteries, right? So, um, Also, I got these. Now, I don't know about you ladies out there, but I gain and lose like the same 10 pounds all year round. Like it's not on purpose. It's just like what my body does. It's either... Like, I'm not eating a lot, or I am eating a lot, or whatever the case may be, but, like, I fluctuate my weight. So, I've seen these on TV, um, and when I saw them on TV, I was like, that's actually a cool idea. So, I picked them up when I saw them today. They were only a dollar. I got them. They're adjust a button, so you can, like, change the different size of your clothes. So, you can, like, if you want to make them bigger, or if you want to make them smaller, and for a lot of you guys, y'all might be like, whatever, I'll just go buy, you know, I'll just go buy a new pair of pants. But not everybody can afford to go spend like 30 or 40 or 50 dollars on a pair of blue jeans, especially somebody like me who like loses the same, you know, pounds back and forth all the time. Something I might buy this week, it, next month it may not fit, you know, it might be a little too snug for me. And then I might lose that weight and they may fit again or I might lose more weight and it may be too little or too big. You never know. So... Anyway, I got these. I got just like a glass mug, really thick glass mug. I think I'm going to put like maybe makeup brushes in it or makeup stuff or something like that. I picked up a couple of nail polishes. The first one is called Radiation by LA Colors. That's called Radiation. And... The second color is called Black Velvet, also by LA Colors. I just like black nail polish in general. So if I see it out, that's like a good brand. And LA Colors is actually a good brand, even though it's a dollar. Then I'll pick it up. So I got that. <clears throat> um, I also got this Sunbeam Power Extension 3 Outlet Swivel Wall Tack. Because, like, in my bathroom, I have, like, a lot of stuff. I have, like, a radio, a hair dryer, a flat iron. You know, my husband has, like, a trimmer that he would actually keep uh, charged if uh, I would let him have an outlet space. So, anyway, uh, this will give me, like, extra outlet space. So, I bought this at the dollar store. 
That's kind of cool. And then um, we got My Best Friend's Grooming Products Odor Stain Urine Remover for Sailor, our puppy. He's 13 weeks old now. Um, he's really good about going where he's supposed to go, like on the puppy pads. We have him going on puppy pads. He doesn't have all of his shots yet, so he can't go outside because we don't have a fenced in yard and other dogs do their business in our yard. It's gross and I hate it, but what am I going to do, right? So he can't go outside yet. Sailor can't. So he's, he's, you know, stuck inside right now until his last shot's in three weeks and then he'll be able to go outside. But for now he goes on puppy pads and most of the time he does really good, but sometimes he'll still have an occasional accident. So what I'll do is I'll clean it up when he doesn't have an accident, when he does have an accident, I'll clean it up and then I'll spray this stuff on it. And it really does deodorize like the urine smell. And it works really well for the smell until I can like get the steam cleaner in there and get it actually like steam cleaned up, which I have done by the way, since we've had him because I couldn't live with the smell, just a little urine smell. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I, this needs, you know, we need a solution. But the, the, but that urine stuff, it works really good for like a short term solution until you can get in there and get it steam clean. Um, so we got some honey buns, Miss Fresh Leaf honey buns. Darren wasn't going to get those, but I was like, come on, honey, we'll eat them. And then I picked these up, uh, Miss Freshly's uh, cream-filled Swiss rolls. You guys would probably just think all we eat is junk food. It's not true. We don't only eat junk food. We just eat a lot of it. Um, I got this petroleum jelly. It's from the baby section because I don't know where it came from. I don't know how or why it happened, but like on the side of my right foot, I have like a patch of skin about this big. It came from like out of nowhere. I don't, I've never had this before, but it's a patch of skin like this big and it's really, really dry. And so I was thinking maybe I could put some like petroleum jelly on it like at night and put like a band, couple of band-aids over it and let it like soak in or something. I don't know if you guys have any ideas for me, any solutions for this. It's just one little dry patch of skin. Um, and it's about this big on the side of my right foot. And I don't know where it came from. I never had it before. It just popped up out of nowhere. And I did some research online, but I haven't found out exactly what it was. People just say, oh, it's dry skin. Well, I know it's dry skin, but it's like abnormally dry skin. Like how if you don't take care of your heels, how they get really dry. It's like that, but it's like on the side of my foot. And I'm not wearing any shoes that like rub it and make it that way because the other side is perfectly normal. It's, it's like soft and pretty little foot. But on my right foot, I just have that one patch. So I got the um, Vaseline anyway, petroleum jelly. So hopefully I'll put this on at night. And, like, I'll cover it, obviously, so Sailor doesn't, like, lick up the freaking petroleum jelly while I'm asleep. But, um, I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions for me, let me know because I'm really perplexed about this little, uh, spot on my foot. Um, I also picked up a Barbie, um, I can't even freaking say it, um, cold pack. Sorry, guys. A Barbie cold pack. So I can shove it into the, and it has like a little puppy on it. And I just think it's cool because it's like, love you doll, XOXO, Barbie. Um, I, I actually like hit my elbow or something the other day and really wished I had like a little cold pack. And I didn't have one at the time. And I had really super wished that I had one. So I picked this up today. And then last but not least, I got L Yardley London. Naturally moisturizing bath bar, oatmeal, and almond. And it says it gently exfoliates. Yeah, so I got this soap. And this was a dollar. And it's oatmeal and almond, y'all. I'll take it out so you can see what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. Just kind of oatmeal colored. Oh, it smells so good. If this was, if this is edible... I wish you guys could smell. Let's pretend like you can. It's pretty. Look, it has Yardley on it. Let's pretend like you guys can smell it. Here, smell. Doesn't that smell so good, right? I know. I got it at the Dollar Tree. Okay, everybody. So, yeah, that's everything from my Dollar Tree haul today. And I had fun showing you guys everything. If y'all want any information on anything you saw today, just hit me up and I'll see what I can do. Like a review on it or give you the website or whatever you want to know. I'll see what I can help you with. 
So hit me up on Twitter at the tattooed type or my blog, the tattooed type dot blogspot dot com, or you can email me tattooed ap at gmail dot com. T A T T O O E D A P P Y at gmail dot com. Okay, guys, until next time.